Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch what we do. Heading up to Target, or as uh, we like to call it, Target. Um, Mother's Day is coming up, and we want to look at some Mother's Day gifts. I've already gotten your Mother's Day gift, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. I think you already know, but I'm not telling you. Um, but we're going to look for Mother's Day gifts, give you kind of an idea of what somebody would like for Mother's Day. So before we get into the video, love for you to hit the subscribe button below. Also get that bell notification button below. That'll get you notified when we put up our next video. As always, I'd love for you to hit the like button too. It does help us out immensely. So let's get parked. We'll head on to Target and we'll take a look in Mother's Day gifts and maybe some other stuff as well. So hang tight for just a couple of seconds. Interesting. They have uh, outside porta potties. Right. Big sign that says big changes are coming. Right and then there. they have all sorts of container uh, trailers out in the parking lot. So are those the porta potties? And these are porta potties here. Yeah, so it says big changes in the store. Right. And if you go look there, look at all those containers just sitting there. Yeah. Interesting. I, they got to do some be doing some remodeling inside. So let's let's head on inside and take a look. But these are porta potties. These are outside porta potties. There it is. They're <laughs> doing something. Look at this. Look at all the building permits. And then look at this. This is the change that they're doing. Wow. Big remodel. And here's all the building permits. Look at that. The whole wall of building permits. Can't wait to see it when it's done. Starbucks is gone on that side, and then you look over here. The restrooms are shut down. That's why it's out there. Yeah. You're that's, right. That's There's the no restrooms. restrooms. So that's why there is the thing out there. Interesting. Temporary restrooms. Yep. So the Starbucks is gone. We are going to have to come back here and see this when it's all done. But this is all new. The whole guest area, the customer service area is already all new. Wow. Look at this. This is pretty cool. It's being modernized. Mm -hmm. Need a map? We're going to grab a map. It kind of tells us where everything is now. So let's go wander around a little bit. I wasn't expecting to come in here and find this. I was expecting to come in and just look for Mother's Day stuff. So let's take a peek. These are one thing that you can pick up. Uh, the Starbucks cups. Do you remember how much these were at Disney? $50. How much are these? Uh, $22. $22 for those. So that tells you how much Disney upcharges on their cups. And you can even get this one here. This is a different kind. This is $19. Uh -huh. But this is a good gift for mothers. Here's a smaller one. Right. The smaller one is $19. $19. So the bigger ones are $22. And the smaller ones are $19. So this is actually almost the same. The diamond pattern on this is very similar to the Disney ones. But it doesn't have Mickey on it. Right. Did the other one have Mickey on it? Uh, no, but it is Disney logoed. Right. There's a Disney logo on there somewhere. Yeah, and this one is $22, like you said. Yeah. And of course, for mothers who like Starbucks, Starbucks coffee is also a good option. Yep. Do not, do not forget to get your Mother's Day card for your mom. Um, and if you're married and you have kids, the husband needs to get a Mother's Day card for his wife. Do not forget. And also Starbucks gift cards, too. <laughs> in the card. That's a good idea. Put the Starbucks gift card in your card. And you know me and plants. I've been talking about getting me a plant. I know you want a perennial. A perennial or a plant is what I want for Mother's Day. I've been telling you that. I know. I know. As, as we said in our Christmas videos, looking for Christmas presents, gift cards are always good to give somebody if you don't know what to get them. So you get them a gift card. For example, if your mom's favorite restaurant is Cheesecake Factory, a Cheesecake Factory gift card would be great. Um, if your mom likes to go to Disney, a Disney gift card would be great. Um, if your mom likes, has an iPhone or a Google Play phone, that would be great. You know, just gift cards are always good and they'll get used instead of just sitting there collecting dust. Well, one of the remodels we already noticed is that they moved the pharmacy. It used to be here. Yeah, and now it's here. So they didn't move it very far, but they moved it. 
well, you buy four items or more, you'll get a free $5 gift card on, let's see, Gillette Secret, Quiet and Roar, Old Spice, Olay, Safeguard, Native and Ivory, Deodorant and Soap, and soap items priced at $5.99 and up. We're not going to make it, but we did find our bar soap. Yes, we did. And another thing that's great for Mother's Day is, like, body washes. Mm -hmm. Find out what your mom uses first and right. make sure you get the right stuff. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, that way she doesn't have to buy it. Sometimes that uh, body wash and some of the beauty items are a little bit expensive. Right. So if you get them for your mom, that way she doesn't have to pay for them. But make sure you get the right stuff first. Like they wear favorite perfume, mm -hmm. favorite soap, favorite... Don't, items that they always use. Yeah, don't make the mistake of just buying something and expecting your mom to use it. Cookware is always a great present to give, but make sure your mom wants cookware. The biggest mistake you can make is for a husband, for example, to give his wife a vacuum cleaner on Mother's Day. Yes, that's not a good idea. <laughs> but if there is a particular pan that you're looking for, mm -hmm. which is me, I, I want a great stainless steel pan. Mm -hmm or a stainless steel pot, mm -hmm. which sometimes is really pricey. The good ones are pretty pricey. Yes, they are. Um, or even a knife, a specific knife, or a knife, um, like Andy wanted, a chef knife, something like that. A good knife is so, always something yeah. to get that. So if you're gonna get your mom a pan, this is just, a, I'm just holding something up, that's all. Make sure it's something she wants, and not something, oh, she might like this pan. It might be a big mistake. I made the mistake once of getting you flowers. Once. Well, However, there are a lot of moms that love flowers. The only reason why it was not a good time was we were having financial issues early in our marriage and money was really, really tight. And you spent money on flowers versus food that we needed at that time. Well, I understand that, but you like flowers. But that's why I did it. A lot of a lot of people, a lot of girls, a lot of moms love flowers. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love flowers, but I'd rather have a plant now versus a cut flower. Something that's going to live for a while. Right. But if your mom likes flowers, likes you know, I, I, these are gorgeous flowers. I mean, absolutely mm -hmm. gorgeous flowers they have here. Look at how beautiful this one is. I'm looking at that one right there. Oh, that is beautiful. And then they have some more over here. Look at the yellow ones over here. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, there's your purple roses, honey. Oh, look how pretty these are. So yeah, if your mom likes flowers, flowers are a great idea. I'm only gonna grab half of them. Us on bananas, we are out of bananas. So Target has them 25 cents a piece. So we're getting four. For a dollar. Now I will say that when we were in New York, we did a back uh, a backpack trip to New York, I uh, several years ago. Right. And in Midtown Manhattan, we found a Target. And they had bananas for 25 cents a banana. And that was the best snack we had in New York and the cheapest snack we had in New York. And they still have bananas, 25 cents each. Oh, they do have it. Which one? Oh. The cinnamon rolls. Remember these we found down in Florida? Mm -hmm. The Target down there? And Those are on, really, really good. Some, yeah, and they're on sale too for four ninety nine. Guess what? No, I can't. You know I can't? Because I bought the apple turnovers. You did. So I can't. Oh, I actually need yogurt. I am totally out of yogurt. Okay. So good thing they're on sale. Yeah, your light and fit is on sale. Yep, I am totally out of yogurt. So right there, when I'm I buy two. Strawberry or cherry? Strawberry. Or cheesecake. And or toasted uh, coconut. Actually, strawberry. Or salted caramel. No, I'm not a salted caramel person on yogurt. But the cherry will work. Okay. Well, it's too frayed. So what other one are you gonna get? And then this one. Strawberry. Yep. Those okay. are the two. So $1.99 is the price point for eggs, in our area anyway right now, isn't it? Yes, it is. So if you want to take a look at these eggs to make sure they're okay, honey. Uh-oh, that one's broken. Yeah, so let's make got... sure. I'll grab it. Okay. You didn't open that up and you knew it was broken. Yeah. Well, it's all... Yeah. Okay. And always just jiggling around. Yeah, these are fine. Yeah, the Target milk price is comparable in our area too to, to Kroger at two seventy nine a gallon. So, in our area again, it's comparable. Ooh, dog chocolate. Something on, to get for your mother. And it's on sale too, fifty cents off. If your mom likes chocolate. There you go. I see milk chocolate. I don't see. Oh, there is dark chocolate. That's what I take. But 
you like the milk chocolate, right? How about milk chocolate and caramel? I got your Mother's Day present. You know, one of the things that you can do for your mom, uh, they have a lot of ice cream here, and actually it's not a bad price on Briars at 5.30 something. But take your mom out for ice cream, you know? You got uh, one of those uh, local ice cream stores in your area? Take your mom out for ice cream. These are uh, new wine coolers. They're actually new coolers that they put in here. These weren't here the last time we were here, but they've got them stocked up with wine. And that makes me think, if your mom likes wine, get her a nice bottle of wine for Mother's Day. Ooh, they have the Cupcake Moscato up there. I see that. They've also got Corbel Champagne. This is something you'd like, the uh, burpee seeds, because you like uh, planting a uh, garden. Do you want to try, are you going to try another garden this year? I know? would, but guess what? Because it's almost planting season, garden tools are a great Mother's Day gift, mm -hmm. along with their favorite, favorite seeds. This is the probably the most important thing that you can get a mom. Oh, for their knees, yes. Annealer. Yeah, Annealer. Get a kneeler. Uh-huh. Hey, let me put this back in. I want to pick these bottles up that fell down. These spray bottles. Hello. They're top heavy. You know what I'm picking up, don't you? What are you picking up? You know what we need when we go to Disney? Ponchos. Ponchos. I am not spending $20 for a Disney poncho. I'm not doing it. These are $2.49. They've gone up in price. We used to be able to get them for a buck. Mm -hmm. um, but we get these ponchos. We take these with us to Disney. If you're going to a park, Disney, Universal, any of them, take these with you because in Florida especially, it rains in the afternoon. These are always a good idea to have, too. Uh, not only for your mom, but for you. The uh, thermal cups. Which ones do you like? I mean, I like the Turvis ones, uh, but any of them, you know, are really good. You know, except the, the plastic ones aren't thermal. They won't keep it cold. They're good to have if you just want to have water and take it with you. I like the thermal cups because they keep whatever you're buying cold or hot, as the case yeah, may like be. They like these. Yeah. These are, uh, these are lunch boxes and things like that. Uh, lunch tote, this is what you would use. You have a, a lunch tote, but basically the same one you've used for years. Right. Uh, but a lunch tote that keeps your food cold or hot. And this one actually comes with uh, storage containers in it. But this is a great idea for Mother's Day mm -hmm. who takes their lunch to work mm -hmm. or anywhere else. So even some lunch totes that even don't look like a lunch tote. This almost looks like basically a, a purse. purse. Yeah. And then also, if you're going to buy lunch totes and you want to keep things cold, these things are good to put in there. And, and, you, and they put them right in the bottom of your lunch tote to keep it cold. You can always get your mom a new television. The pricing on that have gone down significantly. Significantly. Um, again, we bought a 65-inch uh, over the holidays for 329 349 349 65 inch it was a high sense uh, but some of the TV prices are, are ex like a, you can get a 55 inch high for sense, 289 which is a really which is a high sense uh, I tell you the picture on our high sense the 65 inch is gorgeous uh, this might be a little concerning honey the fire alarms are going off the fire alarms are going off this might be a little concerning do we need to go or do we stay I think we need to go honey okay well, we kind of left Target early because the fire alarms were going off. They, they shut them off just as we were walking out of the store, so everything's okay. Um, but we had that beeping in our background, so we really couldn't do much more videotaping. Uh, there's much more suggestions for Mother's Day. Just try and find out what your mom wants before you buy. Right, honey? That is correct because our sons, one of my sons called while we were in Target wanting to know what I want for dinner next week oh, for, for Mother's, Mother's Day. Day and they were items I would never ever eat like corn dogs <laughs> that's correct <laughs> well maybe he maybe he wanted corn dogs so. but again it's it's Mother's Day get your mother what she wants uh, and I know the, the thing that you like best for Mother's Day is a day of relaxation where you don't have to do a darn thing right right or do dishes or clean a house or something like that or even just make sure that she doesn't cook or if you've got younger kids, take the younger kids out so that mom can be home um, doing whatever mom wants to do. So uh, it's just a couple of ideas for Mother's Day, which is coming up. By the way, before we close this, I just noticed the fire truck is here. So 
I don't know why the fire alarms went off, but they must have automatically notified the fire department. But everything seems to be all right. They didn't evacuate the store. So thanks for watching this video. Always appreciate you checking out what we do. If you've not hit the subscribe button below, please do so. Also get that bell notification button below. It notifies you when we put up our next video. Love for you to hit the like button too. It does help us out immensely. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we can give you a little bit of ideas on what to get mom for Mother's Day. And have yourselves a magical day.